Seriously? Where's the incident? I just friggin' sat in traffic for like 45 minutes. And there's just nothing. Like it was it was completely solid. Completely stationary traffic for no freaking reason at all. Like there was police cars, everything. There's just no trace of anything here at all. Are you kidding me? Wow, well, okay. So I quickly banked this camera. So <laughs> what I've been doing in the lull between the last video and this one, it's the same journey. So literally, like that video was recorded like I guess 20 minutes ago, maybe. Um, this is a new video, clearly. I'm not gonna bung them together. I'm not that, I'm lazy enough. So last video, um, I realized, I mean, I'm not washed back yet properly, but I realized on the viewfinder after I recorded it that not only is this camera so crap that it keeps like decrypting videos, uh, it seems that the last video still has that issue of, of um, the sync issue, so that the, um, the audio and the video don't match up. So I thought I would um, format the memory card, and it still did it. So I've taken the memory card out, and I did happen to have a micro SD card on me. Um, one that I wasn't particularly using too, too much. So um, the card that's in the camera right now, which I thought I'd test out, um, I've had in a SD card adapter in my bag for quite a long time. The reason I keep it in an SD card adapter rather than in a device, because I've got a couple tablets talking about that I can use it in, but my hands are gesturing now, because I realize that's probably all you can see, so I thought I'd do some nice gestures. Um, yes, the reason um, it's in there rather than in a device like a tablet or a phone is because I've noticed that when I have it in a tablet, um, or a phone I suppose, for some reason the battery of that device drains really, really quickly. So I'm guessing there's some issue with the card. It's probably what has been in the wash. Like most of my SD cards have been in the wash at some point. Um, I need to put the blowers on because I'm steaming up air everywhere. Um, so I figured it was damaged the, damaged the card and it's now draining the battery of the device heavily to try and keep it working still. Um, so it works fine in an in SD card adapter, so like a proper full on one because I can put it in whatever device I want, like a card reader, and use it as a, as a 32 gig USB stick, basically. So it works fine for that. Um, but since the card that was in the camera here clearly has some issues, um, well, maybe it's the card, maybe it's actually not the card, maybe it's the, um, maybe it's the camera itself. I don't know, I'm troubleshooting now. So I do now have the, um, the 32 gig card that drains batteries heavily in this battery powered camera. And I'm gonna see if it makes a difference. So I'm gonna make a 10 minute video or so. You may or may not see this video ever. If it's still got the same lag issue, then you know, that'll be something we don't bother talking about. But uh, I'm back on the road, as you can see, the car we are now moving. This video would have started at literally as we started moving. Like I bunged it out the window, like bam, straight into the window and click record on the phone down here. Don't know if you see my hand over here. This is where the viewfinder is. So I press record on this. In fact, if you look, if you zoom in on the video now, which I don't know if you can do, um, this here is actually the same video as you're watching right now. So if you look really closely, you can probably see the road on this dashboard down here, which is freaky. It's camera reception. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm uh, several miles away from the next charge point. Let's have a look. Um, I can't even see the turning, and even as I zoom out, I can't actually see the next Oh, I can see it now, actually, yeah. Um, right. Yeah, I'm guessing it's about 15 miles from here. Maybe 20 miles from here. Probably about 20 miles. Um, and I got 40 miles left on the range of it. You can probably just about see that. If this camera is any quality at all, it should be 1080p, you should be able to see that I've got 40 miles range on the dashboard there. 39 miles now, just in case you couldn't work it out. It did just change. 30 miles, 39 miles. 40 miles again, I'm driving more economically now. Um, also, the truck in front of me, which you probably can't quite see, keeps drifting over into the hard shoulder and kicking up um, spray from the white line. So let's hope he doesn't cause another accident, because that would be really, really bad news bears. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that little delay there, let the battery level settle, and that will now give me more range as a result. It definitely won't, though. <laughs> it definitely won't, that's not how, how it works. Um, but I'm gonna set this road now for the next, according to this, 66 and a half miles till I get home. 66 and a half miles on here, 
39 miles range. Not going to work. I'm hoping that the next charge point, which is in the sat nav, um, but just doesn't tell me when it's coming up, um, will be less than 39 miles away. 38 miles, just ticked over again. So fingers crossed. Um, I guess I'll find out. I probably won't find out on camera, but who knows. It's really, really misty today, so if you're wondering why the camera is so bad you can't even see up there, that my uh, draw distance is rather low. I haven't got all the chunks turned up. Um, but yeah, no, it's really, really foggy. Like, what you can see there is literally what I can see too. I, I, I can see maybe 50 feet up there, and then I see nothing else. Like, I can see this hill and nothing. This bridge I'm passing now, like, it's just sticking out of the mist. It's really kind of, whoa, okay, nearly, uh, ha, ha, nearly over the back of that car there, wasn't, um, nearly caused the crap myself. I didn't, there's nobody behind me, I guess we're fine, I was perfectly fine, but I should probably pay my attention to the road. Let's, uh, hold the steering wheel, like I should, God, you know when, you know when you're walking down stairs, right, and you miss the last step back, so you, and you just sort of, and you're sort of, you're fine, you're completely unharmed, but your hands start tingling and you can feel like your blood running a bit faster. I got that right now, the adrenaline's pumping. Woo! That was fun. Oh, that's a cool view, I don't know if you can see that, but that, uh... The misty valley down there, I mean, I say that like I'm in Wales, but I'm not anymore. I'm still up near York, to be honest. Well, I'm not sure, I'm about 60 miles from York. <laughs> Which is not really near it at all. I don't even know where I am. I'm on the M62. Whatever that means. But yeah. This is probably a long enough video to test if it's lagging or not. I'm going to do a quick uh, clap, 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 clap and see how that worked for the audio. Who knows? Right. I have an issue turning this camera off too, so my apologies if it drags on really weird at this end awkward bit. But I'm going to try and hit stop now so it happens. So thank you very much for watching this video. Oh, look how sunny it's got over there. I can see for miles. Says nobody ever. Thank you very much. I'll see you later.